the innocuous GPS blue dot. It's easy to take for granted, this little dot that is available to us with a simple tap on a mobile device, virtually any time, any place. But have you ever wondered how that blue dot got where it is and how it works? The answer may be surprising. The space race began in 1957 with the Soviet launch of the first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1. This man-made moon orbited our Earth flying overhead in an elliptical flight path. Its only transmission was a constant beep. Two physicists at Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory quickly realized they could surmise the position of a satellite in orbit by analyzing the Doppler effect of its constant radio transmission. The Doppler effect is the change in frequency of wave for an observer moving relative to its source. It is most noticeable when the sound of an approaching vehicle goes up in pitch and then lowers as it drives away. Radio waves and light are also subject to Doppler shift. In 1958, Geyer and Weifenbach used this knowledge to do the inverse of their initial success. They were able to pinpoint a location on Earth if a satellite's position was known. In 1960, the United States Navy began using the first satellite navigation system, Transit, to provide navigational fixes for submarine-launched ballistic missiles. Its accuracy of two miles was sufficient for nuclear missiles, but lacked the precision needed for more conventional warfare. The Cold War spurred the development of newer navigation systems. Transit was too slow for the high-speed flight of the United States Air Force, who ultimately decided to develop its own system. The United States Army also launched into orbit its own surveillance satellite for use in location fixing. Each branch of the military was developing its own navigation system. However, the Pentagon deemed these multiple efforts redundant and inefficient. In response, the development of the Defense Navigation Satellite System commenced in 1973. After five years of joint service development, the first Navstar GPS satellite was launched from Vandenberg Air Force Base. Seven years later, the first full constellation of GPS satellites was in orbit. By 1994, the total had risen to 24. Each GPS satellite carries an incredibly accurate atomic clock, solar panels used for power and battery charging, transmitters on various frequencies, and various detection sensors. At least four GPS satellites are visible at any time on any location on the Earth's surface. Each satellite transmits its position and the current time at regular intervals. Imagine standing somewhere on Earth with three satellites in the sky above. If the distance to satellite A is known, then your location must be somewhere on the red circle. If the same is done for satellites B and C, your location is where these three circles intersect. GPS systems use spheres instead of circles to calculate location in three dimensions. Accuracy goes up as the number of satellites used in the calculation increases. GPS is used in the military to aid land, sea, and airborne navigation, cartography, surveillance, search and rescue operations, aerial refueling and rendezvous, weapons guidance, and a wide range of additional applications. The United States Air Force is the controlling entity for the U.S. Global Positioning System. Air Force Space Command declared the system fully operational in 1995. And in 1996, GPS was made available for civilian use. Early civilian uses for GPS include trucking fleets, commercial airlines, and law enforcement agencies. As GPS receivers shrink in size, its uses multiply. The first handheld units allowed hikers, hunters, and campers to navigate rough terrain, track animals, or mark favorite hiking destinations. GPS can be used for boating, fishing, and other water activities. Today, GPS receivers have shrunk down to one inexpensive computer chip. Besides the obvious use of navigation, onboard GPS receivers allow for geotagging of photos, checking in a location on social networks, tracking down stolen phones, and countless other uses. The blue dot, that simple location indicator, began with the launch of the first artificial satellite. Its creation was driven by the Cold War. Its development is the result of Army, Navy, 
and Air Force cooperation. <laughs>